Well, they had to take the SWAT team in and carefully go from room to room to the building to try to get the suspect to come out. And at one point, they had to use the canine dog to get him to come out. Okay, now the uh, officers are making us move back. Who's got stuff left inside? Who's got keys? Who's got cell phones? You didn't even get your phone. I could imagine you got about 150. Amy. Yes. What's going on through your head? You know, I was back in the investigative office. I had my headphones on. I was editing. You know, so I'm listening to, to sound. Um, and all of a sudden, I hear people screaming. And Kelly Groff came running in the newsroom telling us, barricade yourself at first. And then she just started screaming, get out. So um, one of the producers and I, literally, we peeked our heads out of the office and ran. We ran the back way through the studio and out the back door. Brian Tankersley. Tank, come I'll talk to you. We won't have to see you yet. Come on. Uh, Brian Tankersley was up on the second floor, Amy. You look out. What'd you see? Uh, I just saw the car moving up, and there was a lot of yelling and screaming. And uh, we can move back up. I guess it was just the news photographer in me who said, you know, I have to get a camera, and the closest camera I had was my uh, cell phone. So I just uh, just watched uh, him crash into the uh, the station. <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking, you know what, I, I have to document this. So, you know, a news photographer, you have to get the video. So uh, that's all I was doing was thinking about uh, just getting video to document the story. All right, we're going to show you what it looks like right out in front. The Baltimore County Police have told us it's okay to come up here. Again, that alarm is going off. I guess he came up through here. Is that what everybody thinks? He drove the truck right up through here instead of going the other way. So he drove the truck right up. Alley, it's a little turnabout here. Usually you come off of York Road, you go up, and then you turn in here. But he came right up here. And this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And there it is. I mean, he knocked out the railing. He went right up. Yay. So let's just take a look at what we see right now. Look at that truck. It looks like a dump truck, huh? And that thing is, how deep is it? It's all the way back that to is, the back wall. What's that? It's almost all the way back to the back wall to where the pictures are. They're right up under the staircase, almost to the back wall. So he's in there all the way. It's wedged in pretty, pretty good back there. If you take a look to your right, that's where Anita, our security guard, sits. And they were right there. That's where her booth is, right beyond the... Uh, the markings right there and then the newsroom is beyond there it's beyond it's about two feet away from where she was sitting and then we have a nice little lobby and there where people come in and just sit down and make appointments but to stand here and see this is well chris mm -hmm. when you look at this what do you see you know the words don't even don't even cover it it's something i never thought i'd see at my own workplace so it's it's impressive and a little disturbing at the same time yeah the roof kind of all messed up too. Mm -hmm. Tank, you were saying you were on the second floor. You were you were shooting down, so you saw the truck come in. Correct. Yeah, where I was editing my station is right above the lobby. Um, so yeah, I saw come. So you felt the so thunder? I felt the thumb thunder, the shake, the rattle, the roll. I, I felt it all. Yeah, it was it was crazy, and the screaming. There was a lot of screaming. There was a lot of screaming. Uh, let's go over here. Margie, where were you at the time? Where were you? Um, you I, were I worked the night shift, so I was following Twitter and Facebook and trying to, okay. like everyone else, trying to figure out what exactly was going on. Here's our chief engineer, Paul Wilkinson, who's been around 90 years. <laughs> Nothing like this. Nothing like this ever. Never. I heard, uh, I heard loud yelling, so I came down to the lobby, and Bruce was uh, standing there not letting the guy in. Miss Anita was on the phone with 9-11. Uh, so I backed up Bruce, figuring he was going to try to get in, and if he got through Bruce, he wasn't going to get through me, but who knew? Yeah. And he said, okay, if you're not going to let me in, I got something for you. So he left, and he got in the truck, and I said, okay, good, the guy's gone. And then the truck came down here, took a hard right-hand turn, and went up, got hung up on that rail. He backed up and just kept working his way until he got through the lobby. So he said, you're not letting me in, I got something for you? Yep. I got something for you. 
I think that's what he said. So then, he, you know, you get in a truck and you drive away. There was a truck at home. The truck was out where? Right here. Parked right here? Yep. It was parked? Yes. It was parked here, and then he just went right up. Yep. I'm sorry. That's right. 